This is the 881, a trigger input interface, or T2, for the 880. The 881 requires at least firmware version 1.1.3 to be installed on the 880. The T2 interface needs to be activated each time you power on your system. Follow these steps to activate the T2 for use with either the 881 or the 880 desktop enclosure. To activate the T2, set the 880 to manual mode. Then use the Shift key to set the Sync mode to Sync Out. Now press the Shift key and press Step 8. The T2 light on the 881 now indicates that the T2 is active. Leaving manual mode will deactivate the trigger input interface. Starting the sequencer will also deactivate the trigger input interface. To turn off the T2, press Shift and Step 8. The T2 uses the Trigger 1 and Trigger 2 lines as a serial data interface. When the T2 is active, you cannot use the Trigger 1 and Trigger 2 outputs on the 880. The 881 also features a SYNC24 interface with run and clock signals. The DIN SYNC signals are mirrored on these two front panel jacks. Use the Shift key to set the SYNC24 mode to either OUT or IN. When set to OUT, the SYNC24 interface will send run and clock data on the DIN and front panel jacks. When set to IN, the SYNC24 interface will receive run and clock data. This interface is compatible with vintage Roland equipment such as the TB303, TR909, and other pre-MIDI Roland equipment. The 881 also has a MIDI out jack, which sends MIDI start, stop, and clock messages. It is active only in the default internal sync mode. With the current firmware, the 880 does not convert sync 24 to MIDI or vice versa. You must set the clock mode manually so that the 880 knows whether to send or receive clock signals. More features may be added in future firmware updates.